It's time to get crafty. Today's project is simple but beautiful. Who doesn't love the look of rosebuds in bloom? Now you can enjoy those tiny pink flowers year round. Holly Embry found a clever way to fake it. Take a look. What are we making today? We are making ever blooming red bud branches. So if you live in Oklahoma, maybe one of your favorite things about springtime is when the red buds are in bloom. This way you can craft up your own little red bud branches that will stay in bloom forever. Fantastic, how do we get started? Well, all you need is um, some sticks that you can gather from your yard or from a park and tissue paper, tacky glue, and some quilters pins, which are the kind that have a little ball on the end. So I will hand you a stick. And there's a pen for you. And then you're just going to tear off a little piece of tissue paper that's about the size of your thumbnail. They're like spit wads. Mm -hmm. For the less mature audience. Yes, for the crafty. <laughs> and you are just going to wrap your little bit of tissue paper around the end of your pen. Mm -hmm. And then once you've got it wrapped there, all you do is put a little drop of glue on the end. A little drop of glue there. Now could you put this on like a little dish or something? Mm-hmm, yeah, you could decorate anything you want with red bud blossoms. And then just while you're holding it to the pin, just apply it to the stick like that. Mm -hmm. And it'll take a minute for the glue to dry, but it should be sticky enough to hold it on there from the very beginning. So don't wrap yours as tight as I did mine. Yeah. <laughs> now all you do is just repeat that process until you have the desired amount of blossoms on your stick. If you want to take a minimalist approach, you may only wish to apply a few to the end, um, or you can just keep going and cover the entire branch to where it looks like it's really blooming. Then you just pick out a cute little pot and... Yeah, you just find a vase. All I did was, um, that's just like a little um, jelly jar, and I just added some gravel to the bottom, and I displayed it in my house, and I even got the husband's approval to keep it up, so. <laughs> Husband approved. Yeah which rarely happens with our decorations, so it makes me happy. This is easy, it's something you keep on your desk, yeah. but you can't kill, it's a plant you can't kill. Right, it's easy enough for kids to do it and it's very inexpensive. The sticks are free and one package of tissue paper is all you need and, and just some glue. Most people have these things lying around and even if you don't have pins, you could use a pencil or just anything else with a, a pointy tip to get you going there. Great, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We're learning this right now, but you could also learn how to do this at a party coming up. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. The Tulsa Etsy Craft Party will be taking place Friday, August 24th from 6.30 to 8.30 in the evening. And it's basically just an opportunity for all the people in Tulsa who enjoy crafting or love to support handmade businesses here in Tulsa to get together, make some things, meet each other. We're going to have snacks, a supply swap table, and we'll have four different craft projects. The party's free to attend, but if you want to craft, the craft projects are a dollar a piece. So for a buck, you can come and craft and make some new friends. So fun, the Tulsa Etsy Craft Party is Friday from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Made the Indian Emporium shop at 501 South Boston Avenue. Give them a call, 918-853-7946. You can also look them online at facebook.com slash shop at made. And it's craft-tastic, ever-blooming red buds, excuse me, facebook.com slash Tulsa. We've got how to do it. Also, you can contact Holly for any of her fantastic crafts. It's Holly Embry, hollyrocks.etsy.com. You can also look on her blog. It's hollyrocksjewelry.blogspot.com. She does some great stuff.